Hello, welcome to handsonsap.com. This is Hassan Mir. In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about SAP transport process. So we already know that in a company we have three boxes, development box, test, QA box and production box. And within dev box we have multiple clients, uh, usually configuration, sandbox and development test. In a test box we have QA, test, client and some training client. In production we have one client called production. Now, transport is a mechanism to move configuration from one client to the other. The target client could reside in the same environment as you can see here the configuration client is the source client and the configuration is being moved to the development test client which is the target client and both of these clients are residing in the same box development box or the target client could reside in a different environment for example here the configuration is being moved to the training environment and the training is res uh, client is residing in a different box okay so in terms of the setup what you do is you divide all the setup tasks into multiple areas. For example, you can say one area belongs to a general ledger setup, another area belongs to payable setup, or you can divide the tasks more broadly, like this is financial setup, this is costing setup. But bottom line is that you divide the task into multiple areas and you assign uh, each area to one or more consultants, to a group of consultants. Okay, so they own the setup area. Now a transport what is a transport transport is simply a group of tasks okay so this is a transport and this transport has multiple tasks like four tasks here now a task basically uh, contains changes to the table so these are basically instructions uh, for changing something in the table so one transport is basically group of table changes now consultants create a transport and of course they create a transport for their own setup area so all tasks within the consultants transport would contain changes to the table that belongs to the same setup area that this client this consultant owns okay so this is what I'm trying to say this is a consultant if this consultant creates a transport then all the tasks within this transport will be related to the setup area that th this consultant is working on this consultant cannot create a transport that belongs to a setup area that is owned by some other consultant okay so it's very important that these consultants create transports only for their setup area and no other consultant should be creating transport for this consultant's uh, setup area okay now this is how the transport process looks like uh, this is the client one and this is the client two so this is the source client and this is the target client a transport is going to be created in client one by consultants each consultant would be creating transport of their own setup area bottom line is that the transport will will be created at client one now the transport is basically copied over to the client two so that the same changes happens in the client two as well now consultants create transports of their setup area at client one and the basis group is responsible for copying over the transport so each a group should understand their responsibility otherwise major integration issues could come up okay so basis group is mainly responsible for moving the transport over uh, from to the car target client there are sometime exceptions are made where consultants uh, transport their own client uh, own setup areas over to the development test environment but usually basis group is responsible for carrying this task so this is pretty much it for this tutorial and I'm gonna see you in the next tutorial